What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. It is a beautiful day out in the garden today. It's a little hot, about 90 degrees, but it's absolutely beautiful. So we're out here in the garden today and we're gonna be doing a video, kind of an updated video for all of you that are new that have asked for this. And that is kind of a comprehensive tomato care pruning guide. Now we've done tons of videos on the past on this. So this is gonna be a refresher for those that have already seen these videos. But for those that are new that you know don't want to go back and hunt for those uh, videos we're putting it all together into this one video for all of you so uh, welcome by the way if you are new i did want to take a quick very quick second to uh, let you guys know that if you do really love these videos and you love what you see uh, and you want to kind of engage in another way we have obviously all of our social media pages that uh, you guys are probably well aware of but we just added uh, a podcast i'm very excited about it we have our first kind of test podcast episode up just to kind of see how it came out to see the flow of it to gauge interest and uh, so far it's been going over very very well and so you can find us over on spotify as well as soundcloud and uh, a few other places i'm not sure where everything kind of goes yet because we're still figuring all that out but i know it's on spotify and i know it's on soundcloud and it is called the Seeds the Day podcast. So it's just a morning show that uh, we do once a week on Fridays tentatively. And it's just uh, another way to kind of get some uh, just gardening information, gardening inspiration, but also hear a lot of like backstories and, and fun stuff back and forth with people on the MI Gardener team and other guests that you wouldn't normally see here on this channel. So if you enjoy what we do and you enjoy uh, me, well, I think you'll enjoy that. So go check it out. I'll have links in the description box below to it. And uh, and again, be very kind because our first episode was, it was, I mean, it's our first episode. I'm not used to doing just a audio version. I'm used to showing you guys things and doing things. So it's, it was pretty interesting, but I had a lot of fun doing it and I can't wait to film uh, the next one or record the next one, I should say. Let's get on to today's video. Um, I've got here, um, I've got some pruners and I've got my uh, fantastic elastic. Now this is incredible stuff. This is actually elastic string. It is pretty much sold out just about everywhere. We did have some on the at my gardener store. It sold out about a month ago uh, and we cannot get any more in for quite some time. Uh, so um, you can use something like like a, like cut nylons, pantyhose. Uh, you can use um, the green stretchy tomato tie-up tape. A lot of that stuff works. Uh, you need something that's going to have some give to it. That's not going to cut into. That's not going to cut into the tomato plant when we stake it up. Um, if you're following along and you're doing what I'm doing, you're going to want something stretchy. Um, and unfortunately, the reason why we can't get this stuff in is because this stuff is used in making masks. Uh, so because there's so many people uh, making masks and uh, there's such a need for masks right now, um, this elastic string is a hot commodity. So um, I've, got, I've got this one here and when this is gone, I'm hoping by the time it's gone that uh, the shortage is no longer a shortage. So um, yeah, so you know, uh, this is what we're using, but uh, it works great. And that's because it's, it's really thin, low profile, allows me to tie really quickly. And so I can do a ton of tomatoes in a short period of time. Um, but use anything that's kind of stretchy that you have on hand. Um, you're also going to need, like I said, some pruners because we're going to be doing a method called single stemming. Now, single stemming is essentially the, the process of taking away all of the side branches on a tomato. I'll show you what I'm talking about up close when we start taking care of the tomato. But you have to understand the anatomy of a tomato is you have the main stem and then you have uh, the lateral branches and then you have in between the lateral branches and the main stem what's called a sucker. And a sucker is basically a brand new plant that's growing. It'll produce fruit and flowers if you let it. However, in places like Michigan that have a short growing season or in places that you know, have, it's just very muggy, you get a lot of rain, cool nights, and you get a lot of tomato disease, it's not the best to leave all of that foliage on because it actually kind of crowds things out. And also it allows you to, uh, or it prevents you from growing more, more plants in a given space. You know, the bulkier the plant is, the more space you have to give it. So when you single stem, you're essentially growing up a single stake. We have a, our, uh, they're uh, one by two furring strips. And those one by two furring strips are eight feet tall. We're, we stick those in the ground. We basically just uh, pound them in with a, with a sledgehammer. So they're in the ground about a foot. So above ground, they're about, they're about seven feet tall. And that is what we're going to support the tomato plant on as it grows. 
and that's what we're going to tie it to um, when whenever it grows we're going to tie it uh, a little bit further up the stake to keep it growing in an upward uh, in an upward uh, direction rather than letting it go out and sprawl so that is kind of a very short summary of single stemming now a lot of you ask why single stemming well single stemming as i kind of touched on not only does it allow you to grow more food in less space because the plants aren't bushy, they're really narrow, so you can grow two or three times uh, as many plants in the same amount of space, um, but also it cuts down on disease. Tomato blight and uh, powdery mildew and things like that, they are, they're so prevalent with tomatoes. And so when you increase the airflow by taking away all that foliage, the airflow is what helps to keep the tomato plants disease free. Anytime you have water and, and splashing from the soil sitting on the leaves, that's going to cause blight and, uh, and it can definitely end your season early. So you don't want blight. It's very, um, it, it spreads very quickly. And so uh, by pruning away a lot of, those, a lot of that, that foliage, you're allowing way more airflow to come in. And, uh, and then the byproduct to also removing foliage is it also helps the fruit ripen faster. It's exposed to the sunlight, so the sunlight helps to produce uh, the sugars that then help to ripen the fruit faster. So uh, when, you know, again, when you have a short growing season like we do here in Michigan, we can ripen our tomatoes 25 to 30% faster by just removing the foliage. Um, so it's a great you know, all around method and definitely something that I recommend you implement in your garden, especially if you're in an urban environment that's short on space. So coming in close, now that I kind of gave you the gist of it, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get pruning. So, all right, come on. All right here, so the tomato plant that we have is pretty lanky. As you can see, it's kind of falling over and we need to get it up onto this stake here. The first thing we want to do is we want to remove all of this lower foliage. So this right here, this is a sucker. It produces a main stem with lateral growth. This right here is a sucker. Here's another sucker and another sucker down here. Another little sucker there. Then now that we've kind of gotten some of that lower stuff out of the way, we want to come in here and any, any branches that are going to be touching the soil, we want to remove those. And that's because soil that splashes up on the leaves is a reason why you get blight. So we're basically removing all the stuff that's going to be touching the, the ground in uh, basically in hopes to reduce our disease later on. So now I'm coming up here and I'm removing all the suckers. Now again, here is the main stem. As you can see, I'm, I'm, this is the main stem. I'm, I am uh, singling this out here because this is the main growing stem that I wanna keep. Then I have here lateral branches, lateral branches, lateral branches, and in between the, uh, the lateral branch and the main stem, you see this little, little tuft of new growth. That's a sucker. We want to remove that. Here's another one right here. We want, to we want to remove that. And that way we're going to really, oh, here's a nice little big one. I didn't even see this one. They'll cut, you know, they, they really grow fast. If you let them grow fat or if you let them grow, they'll grow fast. And so here's the, here's the main stem. Here's the lateral branch. And here is this gigantic sucker. And they're usually pretty easy to snap off. Um, if they get really, really big, use your pruners, but generally a little bend to the left and a little bend to the right breaks them off. Here's another sucker here, take that off. And again, we're working up the stem. This, is, this plant was kind of being neglected. It needed a lot of care, so there was a lot of maintenance to do. But generally it's, you know, once a week you'll come out and just, uh, just break off the new little suckers, tie it up one more time and kind of just go. It's not a ton of work. So, all right, then what we're gonna do is the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the first cluster of flowers or fruit. As you can see, we have the first cluster of, of uh, fruit right here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to remove any foliage that's lower than the first cluster of fruit. So there's that. And there's another branch right there. And what that's going to do is it's going to ensure that any branches, as they grow, branches start to droop down. And generally, more often than not, any branches above the first set of fruit will never touch the soil. In our experience, the first set of fruit is kind of that, that marking point where you have to prune up so that nothing ever touches the soil as it grows. So now that we've got that done, now it's time to, to tie it up. Very simple. We're just gonna hold it up to the, to the stake here. We have our bit of uh, elastic string. This stuff has good stretch. You want a good stretch so that it doesn't constrict the stem and it allows the plant to move with the wind 
and it won't, uh, you know, it won't cut into the stem. We're going to come in here. We're going to be mindful of that, that first set of fruit there. We're just going to give it a good tie. Just one over under knot and then another over under knot. It's plenty fine. There we go. So there you go. There is how you properly prune, single stem, and stake up your tomato plants. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to throw a like up there because it helps spread this video around to more people that could use this video. If you have any friends that would enjoy this video, make sure to share a link with them. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, if you have any questions, make sure to post them in the comments box below. I'll do my very best to answer them. I know I get a lot of questions all the time on our YouTube videos. I do my best within the first couple uh, you know, hours to, to answer those questions and help people out if I can. But uh, you know, be patient. I do try to answer as many as I can. And uh, I just hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you all later. See ya.